I'm Caroline Ray and I'm a lecturer in technical art history here at the University of Glasgow. Using historical painting techniques to create replicas can help us to understand how works of art were made and why they look the way that they do. To guide us in the process of making replicas, we combine examination of the painting, looking at the painting itself, with a study of artists' treatises, which often included instructions for aspiring artists on how to paint. It is an experimental process and a great learning experience. Artist tube paints as we know them today were only invented in the 19th century. Before this, artists such as Guido Reni would have bought their pigments in a dry form from an apothecary and then combined them with a the medium in the workshop by grinding on a hard slab to make paint. Earlier artists working in Italy typically used egg as a binder, but by the time that Guido Reni was working in the early 17th century, Linseed oil was more commonly used as a binder. Linseed oil takes longer to dry, meaning that artists such as Rennie had more time to blend paint smoothly and such to create greater illusions of texture for areas such as fur, flesh and the surrounds of gold jewellery. The optical properties of linseed oil also meant that artists such as Guido Rennie could create greater sense of depth in their paintings. In some areas of the painting, Rennie has used a layered system which consists of painting in an underlayer and allowing this to dry before fine details were added above. Areas painted in such a manner include the rubies and the gold jewellery. In other areas, such as the face and the ermine fur, Rennie has skillfully blended the paint wet into wet. Some of the pigments available at the time that Rennie were painting were very expensive. For example, ultramarine, a beautiful blue pigment created from lapis lazuli, was at one time as expensive as gold. However, in this painting, Rennie has not chosen to use ultramarine for the blue areas, but instead has used the cheaper blue pigment azurite. Similarly, in the red areas of the painting, such as the rubies worn by the sitter, Rennie has opted to use the cheaper red pigment, red lead, as opposed to vermilion. It seems possible that this painting was created by Rennie for a less wealthy patron who still wanted a beautiful devotional image of St. Catherine to aid them in their prayers.